It's the most remarkable one that springs to mind, the most of many, is the one where he sat on the tank of his uh, R1 backwards and did 151.7 miles an hour. Show this to wheelies and stopping right in front of you. I'm sure he'd love you to whistle, shout, throw things at him or whatever. No, no, man. Oh, I, hey, hang on a minute, a world record attempt. He's going to sit backwards. He's going to get up to break next speed to probably around 7, 8 miles an hour. Here we go. Look at that. No, no, don't give him a round of applause for that. That's encouraging him for being a wallet. Which means he is going to hit the barriers. This actually is a standard machine. And the reason why he is carrying the stunt on this here little scooter is all practice and training. But of course, we have to suggest you don't try this at all or on the highway. If you do use somebody else's bike. For now, the scooter and Dave Coles. Give a round of applause, folks. But well, he is going to be now one. Now it gets a bit exciting. So you've got to show some enthusiasm. You're not here to enjoy yourselves, you know what I'm saying? That's just shut the earwax out of the old look. Yes, that's how you warm a brand new engine up, but it is under warranty. He's uh, just doing a bit of alterations because some of his stunts do need a very hot tick over. He can alter the tick over very, very slightly to do some of the stunts. Well, this is more like it now, the old thousand hour one. This uh, plenty of power, as you know, guys out there, if you are bikers, these are a beast of a machine. And this fella throws it around like it's a bolt. Straight into the uh, rolling burnout, all the way along the arena here. Give a round of applause, Come on, let me hear it for Thompson. Stop it, look easy. We might. I don't know if you can actually hear. 
here, me with his helmet on and so on, but we see if we can encourage him to do something he does rather well. Let's see, let's see if we can encourage him to have a go at this now. Here we go, so this is a good wheelie. Now we have got a number plate on the back there with his name on, that's so he knows which bike it is. But well, the idea is to break that number plate. I can't see the hand in here today, to be honest, because the surface is a little bit bumpy on occasions and not really big enough. But uh, to be honest, that was quite close there, really. Uh, just an inch or two off. Imagine it's coming to be just... Thank you. 